morning, guys. Morning. Even though it is pitch black. It is. It is early in the morning. It's, it's earlier than when we get up on Christmas Day. Mm. Because we are going to Edinburgh today. Yeah, we've got five days of Edinburgh content coming your way. And we are already in a hotel at Birmingham International because we are indeed flying there. Oh, God, don't. Uh, I've got, like, cold sweats because I'm ill. Yes, yeah, uh, what life has decided to give her a cold a day before we decided to fly. Yeah, so I, if I sound croaky and look sweaty, I'm sorry. I'm full of cold. If my beard looks shit, it's because there's no hair dryer in this hotel room. <laughs> uh, nice little hotel room. It's the Abyss Budget. It's right next to the airport, and it was £79 for the night. Yeah. So we're flying up at... 10 past 8, mm -hmm. so it's half 5 now, so we're going to go and walk to the airport now, get checked in. This is all brand new for us, especially me. Um, I haven't flown on an aeroplane since I was 5 years old. And obviously the last time I flew was when I went to Glasgow with Josh a couple of years ago. Um, that's why we're going very early. We've got hold luggage, so we need to check in, mm -hmm. go through security, get a coffee, because... Yeah, I've got a horse throat. <laughs> before we begin, um, of course, like and subscribe, share content, check out all the stuff we've done before. We've got five, no, it'll be six videos of Edinburgh coming uh, your way. This is the first one. Uh, we will be doing a completely separate video all based around uh, Edinburgh Castle, kind of a new uh, kind of video that we're going to try and put together as well. So there will be six videos of Edinburgh content when this is all said and done. Um, this first one... Uh, we're basically going to be wandering around, you know, a bit of travel day as well. Uh, we're going to look at the graveyard for the inspiration for the Harry Potter characters, and then yeah, get some dinner. Friends. Yeah, and then get some dinner and everything, and maybe get a beer. But we're not going to go too mad today. Ease ourselves in, and then the rest of the content. We've got loads of stuff going on: Edinburgh Castle, Arthur's Sea, Dean Village. Camera uh, Obscura. Camera Obscura, loads of cocktail bars and restaurants and stuff, so we're going to try and give you the best overview of Edinburgh that we possibly can. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, we've got a cheeky cocktail class coming up as well. Get on that plane, oh God. And get over to Scotland. luggage storage yep. uh, and we're right next to the castle yes yeah, so if I spin you around that castle is right there that castle is right there <laughs> so we're literally just underneath it which is really cool uh, so it's about what 10 minute walk from the tram yeah, not too bad of a walk to be honest um, the tram was really easy yep efficient quite expensive yeah 750 each quite expensive so a bit pricey but it is quick and efficient yeah it's better than getting a taxi yes definitely 
Um, so the plan is now, we're, I think it's not even 11 o'clock yet. No, so it? we're going to wander around and we're going to go to the graveyard. What graveyard is it called again? Uh, Greyfriars. Oh, yes, Kirk. so this is yeah, the inspiration for a lot of the Harry Potter names that made it into the book. So we're going to go have a little rummage around and see what we can find. It's a nice little potter. Yeah. Potter. Potter. <laughs> you didn't mean to do that, did no. you? <laughs> Harry Potter! Birthplace of Harry Potter. It's where she started writing the novels um, before she was making money, and she can write it in. Uh, I think it's the hotel that's next to the train station. Might be. What's it called? Like it's a big posh hotel. But before she started making. There. Where she write her books? Yeah, which looks like it's closed at the moment. I think it might be being refurbed. I guess. Unless the shutters are just down currently. Unless it's closed on a Monday. Yeah, it could be. So yeah, birthplace of Harry Potter. Down the little doctor boot. <laughs> His little gold nose. <laughs> Nose came off. Oh no, not the nose. <laughs> Thank you. 
first one. First one. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. There it is. That's one of them. There he is. Second one. Second one, found it already. Behind scuffling, let me uh, zoom in for you kids. There we go. Moody. So that's obviously inspiration for Alistair Moody. You watch, there'll be another Moody around the corner in a minute. It'll be the wrong one. <laughs> Thomas Riddle Esquire. There's a lot of riddles. Mm, so it's like the whole riddle family basically. Nice. There you go. Found Voldemort's grave. Just come out of Greyfriars Kirkyard. Kirkyard, yes, it is Kirkyard, isn't it? Yes. Um, so yeah, this is the graveyard that's become famous because obviously a lot of the inspiration of uh, certain names in the Harry Potter books were from that graveyard. Yes. Uh, there's apparently five in total. Um, we think most, if not all, are beyond the Floden Wall, which is down the back half of the graveyard. Yes. Uh, we found three out of the five. So we found Tom Riddle, we found McGonagall, and then we found Moody as well. Yes. Uh, so yeah, we got a couple we didn't didn't spot. And then we we saw little Bobby's um, grave as well. Yeah, they yeah. left him sticks, which made me sad. But it's a really nice graveyard. It's just, I mean, same as a city, really. It's just so just ornate and so really peaceful. nicely designed and chilled and peaceful. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. It's good though, because like it's been really famous, you know, because of Harry Potter. It's become such a tourist trap thing now. But people have tra treated it with plenty of respect. You know what I mean? They haven't just yeah. been disrespectful because of it. So it's just really nice just to wander around there and have a look and find the graves that inspire some of the names. Be nice at night, I think. Yeah, I mean, if I can get, if we can get back here at some point this week well, at night time, that'd be really yeah, nice. Would be nice. Mm. So yeah, now another wander, maybe grab a bite. Yeah. A bit peckish. A little bit, maybe. Really? Not really. <laughs> Struggling, aren't you?
So we've popped into Cold Town Beer and got up to the terrace, which is really cool. Plenty of stuff going on. You even get like little pods like this you can sit in. And you've got a lovely view of the castle up there. And we've gone for a sour beer, haven't we? Yeah. Like a, was it raspberry something? <laughs> it's not that sour. It's not sour sour, but it's, it's good. So, we have checked in. We have indeed. To mm. Edinburgh 9. Yes, which Sarah's going to give you her world famous room tour even, in a moment. Even though it will be a little bit stuffy, I'm uh, I'm not feeling too good now. <laughs> you're, still, you're still stuffy again. Uh, so we are going out for for dinner, um, and that will probably be it because I don't feel well and I want to sleep as much as possible. So I'm fresh for the rest of the week. For the rest of the week, there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, before the room tour, I'll give you kind of might as well review the food that we had earlier. We didn't intend on having it, but we thought, right, we'll have a couple of nibbles. And... Yes, it was all because of that little dog, mm. that little grey friar Bobby. <laughs> so it's a pub right next to the little statue where you go and boop. Yeah, which it's it was it a Marston? No, it's no. Nicholson. Nicholson's. Yeah, so it is a chain pub. Uh, but it's one of the better ones because Nicholson's, I think, is one of the better, better chain pubs from what I can remember. Yeah, lovely little pub. Yeah, actually. great little pub. It was nice, nice, classic little British slash Scottish pub. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we just decided to go. There was like these three um, pub snacks for seventeen pound, and you could yeah. pick from like a list. Yeah, so it was like tapas, but not tapas. Yeah. <laughs> so we just had two cokes because we were thirsty, and then we're like, "Oh, we'll have a little sneaky snack to do." So we ended up having loaded fries, which came with like a really sweet pulled pork all over it, like really sweet. It was yeah, it was really lovely, good pulled pork. proper nice on these big bastard thick cooked chips. And then we had little mini torrezzo. Yes, which is also very nice. They had, they had the little like chilies and stuff on top of them, which had a bit of a kick. Yes. But the, the, the chorizo was just nice, plump, succulent, juicy. Really nice. Exactly and, what and you want. Plenty full as well. Yeah, pl plenty of them, plenty of oil to kind of dance around on the plate with. Not dance around <laughs> on the plate with. And then lastly, little boneless crispy chicken bite. <sighs> God damn. They were they were surprisingly really nice actually. They were. I thought it was gonna be like a chicken nugget situation. Yeah. But no, proper like chicken thigh and it was deep fried in a batter, really crispy and it came with like a like a, a tangy a tangy barbecue yeah. slaw type thing. Chunky as Chunky, well. yeah. yeah. Um so yeah, like they were succulent and juicy on the inside, proper crunch on the outside. Exactly what you kind of want from these like chicken bites, really. So I was quite impressed with it. Me seeing too. It was just like a little Nicholson's pub stop. Mm. I'd give it a four out of five. Yeah, I give it a four out of five as well. I think for you know for seventeen quid as well, for three pieces like that, and we it was you know, more more than enough for both of us. Yeah, there were big portions as well, like and you could chips and stuff. You could have five for twenty six, I think it was as well. So you can yeah. have more if you want. And there was quite a lot of choice. There was a lot of choice. And we just we popped and had a quick, quick pint at the. What was it? Townhouse. Cold Townhouse, yeah, which is right underneath the castle. Pretty cool place. They had a veranda up top, which is really cool. Loads of like a little Prosecco bar that's there. They've got like a pizzeria bit. They've got a massive bar downstairs. Got their own beers. They had a sour, which was quite nice. Yeah, they've got another sour as well. Quite a vibey place. Um, I, I can imagine at night that will be yeah. banging. I think so. But not tonight, my friends. No. But uh, before we head out, let's let Sarah do her thing and do her room tour. Yeah, flat one. Why hello. Hello. Welcome to apartment one. Mm-hmm. At Edinburgh Line on Cornwall Street. That little click behind, we don't have a room key, it's all code activated. Very high tech. Mm. Sorry for my croakiness. And my stuffiness. This is the main room. So you come in, you're welcomed by a lovely bed, which I've already tried out because I've had a nap. Which has made you more croaky. Yeah. <laughs> but 
but the bed is very comfy. So if you come on in, we have a really nice wardrobe. We've Loads got of space. Our suitcase in there. We've actually unpacked, guys. Yeah. We've actually unpacked. We're here for five days, so we have unpacked. This is not the Cornwall Adventures where we're living out of the suitcase. So there is a little seating area. We haven't tried it out yet. Nope, she's about to. Oh, nice comfy. And by the looks of it, you can pull the TV over. Yes, yeah, so our TV is currently on. I have no idea what's on the TV, but yeah, it looks like it's movable so you can watch it on the sofa and on the bed. We'd probably just stay on the bed. Yeah, I think so. Um, we've got two big windows. Oh my God, Bobby! Little doggy. View isn't spectacular. But I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Literally just over there is the back of the castle. You won't be able to see it. So we're really, really close to the castle. We're in a really perfect spot, actually. In here, little get ready area. They do have a hair dryer. Yes, they do. So Adam's very excited about that. Little dress I might want, actually. I've already sorted out, readjusted my beard. I haven't readjusted anything. I look a mess. I don't care. I'm just going out to get some food. Lovely little bedside tables. They have got um, USB as well, which is cool. Yep. So we can charge our phones and charge on our electrical equipment because we've got two choices. The bed is so comfortable. It's a yeah. massive bed actually. Yeah, it's isn't big. It? It's king size, I think. Is it king size? Might even be a queen. No, no, I think it's a king. So lovely. Blue backboard, it reminds me of home. Yeah, we have a blue backboard in our house. So much room for activities. Big old apartment. So we'll go into the kitchen first. Mm. So we have a kitchen. We do have a kitchen. And it's a lovely little kitchen as well. We got TV. TV. We a little dining situation here. All the heating is controlled by this like touch screen. I've turned the heating on because I'm cold now. So, perfect little kitchen. We've got a little oven, a little two burner. We've got a little dishwasher. Mmm. Little slim lined. All the cleaning stuff down there, just pen and brush. Everything's eco. Yeah. Um, venue, so that's cool. And then we've got all our crockery, all different glassware, little teapots. Uh, pots and pans. <clears throat> pots, pans, cafetiere. Cafetiere, but no coffee. But if we want to get some coffee, we know there is a cafetiere there. And then all your bowls and your plates and your little cups. And a little fridge. Yeah, plenty of little milk sticks in there. Kettle and toaster. And then some little tea and coffee making facilities. Some biscuits, some hot chocolate, plenty of really nice coffee as well. We like clippers, don't we? Not a lot of tea bags though for five nights, but I can always get some tea. It's a lovely mm -hmm. little kitchen, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfectly little formed. So we'll go on into the bathroom. A lovely big bathroom. So the mirror is massive. It's heated, so when you're in the shower, it don't steam up. Little sink area, already unpacked. We've got hand wash, moisturiser, uh, shampoo and conditioner, actually. Yeah, I think we should be all right with that. I don't think we need to get any more, do we? That'll last us four, four or five days. Yeah, I might try that. If it sends my hair weird, then I'll go and get some more. So we've got the shit out. Classic shitter. Got lovely towels. And then we've got a massive shower. Mmm. It is quite a massive shower actually. Loads of room. Loads of room for activities. A place to put your bits. Bits and bulbs. It's heated towel round as well. Is it heated? Yeah it is. Yeah, so you, it's like we had in the coach house where you could turn it on. Yeah, yeah. And it boosts it. Nice little scenty thing in the corner to keep it smelling nice. And this has um, underfloor heating as well. Oh, that's good. Um, but I don't know how to turn it on. It is to do with that. So yeah, that is apartment one at Edinburgh 9. So we're here Monday to Friday and it was £530. 
I mean, what's that? Is that just over a hundred pound a night? Just, yeah, just over. Just a little bit. I think a hundred and two pound a night. Yeah, it's not, not by much. We're right in the centre of Edinburgh. The walk from the tram station, tram drop off, wasn't. It was ten, 10 minutes. Ten minutes walking. It didn't feel that bad. As uh, we'll go out and show you, or you might have already seen. Literally, the castle is right behind us. This is a massive apartment. You've got your kitchen as well. I think that's really reasonably priced. Yeah, considering how close it is to literally everything. Yeah, it was the cheapest one I could find. Edinburgh is very expensive. Yeah. I do Which want people. you kind of expect at the end of the day. One of the biggest and best historical cities ever. It's not going to be yeah. 50, 60 quid a night, is it? When I was doing the price up, this was cheaper than an abyss. And when we first came here in 2020, before the big sea hit, we stayed in the abyss and it was perfectly fine, but it was cheaper back then. It was more expensive to stay there than stay here. This is a booking.com, so I might have had a bit of discount with that as well, because I am a Genius 3 member. <laughs> but I'm really impressed. It's lovely, lovely vibe. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. It's just, it's done really, really well. Done to a high spec. It and it's literally got everything you could possibly need. Lovely, comfy, cosy. Mm. Shall we pootle on down? Pootle on down. To some food. Yeah. So yeah, the place we are going tonight is a place called Bread Meets Bread. If you can try and guess that, it probably means it's a burger joint. Bread meat bread. Yeah, it is a burger joint. Yes, so we're going to go there, have some burgers, have maybe one alcoholic drink before getting this one all tucked up in bed. I might have a cup. <laughs> but he might have a cocktail. Uh, uh, I'll see. I'll see what there is. I'll see what the vibe is when I get in. Built on a love of playful twists and cult favourites, Bread Meets Bread is a family business founded on the belief that freshness means flavour. They championed independent local suppliers that take pride in serving the freshest burger they possibly could, while having fun with nostalgic cult classics and even bringing proper poutine to the Scottish masses. Available in four sites in Glasgow and three sites in Edinburgh. If you love burgers, this is an awesome place to go. Strawberry mojito and a margarita. Becoming a connoisseur. What we're saying? Got power. Strong. Yeah. <laughs> the back of these bacon cheeseburger with halloumi fries on. We both got the same thing. Uh, we've got a pot of gravy, which is a decent little tub of gravy. Really nice looking onion rings. And then some bacon covered fries. I want to go for a dip, go for a dip each.
nice little wander. Yeah, we did have a nice little wander, didn't we? It wasn't planned. I was like, I would go home. I don't feel well. And I was like, should we go for a wander? And it was nice. We did. We went and wandered around see what the castle looked like and then went up the, um, it's called the Venel Steps. The Venel Steps. Yeah, yeah, which is like the, one of the most iconic shots of the castle going down the steps and everything. So we got a couple of snaps of that for night. Met a lovely American couple. Yeah. They're doing, doing a tour of Scotland for a month. Yeah, which is pretty cool. From Chicago. So they took some snaps for us and we returned in kind. Yeah. And we need to review bread meets bread. So we both had the Iron Apple Burger. Yes. Which was a beef patty, uh, halloumi, slow cooked onions, bacon, and barbecue and mayo, I think it mm -hmm. was. Yeah. And um, so we both had that, and then we had two sides. We had the onion rings, and then we had the bacon chips. Yes, which had this kind of maybe like peppery or garlicky or some shit mayo type thing on it, which I really liked. But you weren't a massive fan of it because it kind of like yeah it had a bit of a bitter taste to you. I don't know if it's because I've got cold. Maybe um, maybe your palate's a little bit off. But it tasted really bitter, so I didn't. Eat it did. I mean, it did taste bitter to me. I really liked it. I thought it was lovely. Um, onion rings were really nice. They weren't like top tier. No, they but, uh, weren't they, top tier. But they were good, solid, like pub grub kind of onion rings. Oh, and we had a pot of house gravy. Yes, which for two quid you get a big pot, and. It, it was proper like winter warmer Sunday roast Christmassy kind of oh, it feel. Of Christmas, yeah. yeah, it was a proper nice like hearty gravy basically. And we uh, dipped our burgers and uh, the chips and the onion rings mm, in it. It was well nice. There's plenty of it as well. Like one pot for two is more than enough. And then we had two cocktails. I had a margarita. Yeah, and then I had a strawberry mojito. And I also had a cheeky iron brew. The first iron brew. Iron brew. It's meant to taste up better the... up here of the trip and it was lovely so yeah i mean overall i think bread meets bread is a cool little place it was busy on a monday night yeah which is popular plenty of delivery going in and out yeah um the staff were really lovely yeah really um, friendly really attentive it's quite expensive um but it is proper homemade yeah there's quality there, ingredients there is in there <laughs> there's definite care that's gone into that burger like it was juicy it was tender the flavors complemented each other really really well um yeah i i really can't fault that burger to be honest um i'd say that like the chips were really nice and i really liked them obviously sarah wasn't a fan of the sauce and said like, the onion rings were good but not great yeah um it was all about the burger really. but it was all about the burger yeah and that burger was good enough for me, five star, I'm going to go for. I think it was that good of a quality burger. And even though some of the sides weren't exactly amazing, but they were enough to kind of like increase the quality of the meal. Yeah, so I agree. The burger, I would give five star. Um, the sides, yeah, I would take down to maybe a four star, mm. but it's it's bread meets bread so I am the, putting it solely on the burger yeah because that is the focus and um, it was a mighty fine burger yeah, mighty it's fine. A, it's good food really um, was so two burgers two sides two cocktails and an iron brew came to £70 yeah so it's quite a lot it's not cheap you get service charge on top of that obviously you've got to think to yourself you're in Edinburgh yeah it's a city it's a major city it's one of the biggest cities in the country yeah it was 12.5 so, so the same as in london yeah you're gonna get a service charge on top of that so i hope you've enjoyed this uh travel day not first official day i suppose no so it's a nice chilled day to be honest chilled day with a snotty sarah <laughs> so we're gonna hunker down for the night now so i hope you've enjoyed this uh, the first day, the travel day. Yes, our first our first day in Edinburgh, because it was more or less a day. Yeah, uh, first flight yeah, ever we first flight. together. Didn't like take off. Oh, it's awful. Everything else was fine, just didn't like take off. It's like a roller coaster. Mm, it's just that's a bit jury, I didn't, didn't really like it. it. Made me feel a bit sick. Mm. But it was like, we were only up there for like 40 minutes, it was but so quick. We still did some bits and bobs around Edinburgh, we still did some, uh, hit some big points. We did, yes. Um, we went and seen the famous graveyard. Very nice graveyard. Mm. If you can say it, a graveyard is very nice. I think you can. Um, so next one is, is it Dean Village? Yeah, so yes. we've got Dean Village um, and then we've got Camera Obscura. Yes. Which is a museum um, with all like optical illusions and 
yeah, it's very, very interesting. Highly recommended. So yeah, that's it. That's part one of Edinburgh all done and dusted. Make sure you keep a lookout for the rest of Edinburgh coming. Check out some other stuff we've done as well. If you like this, York is probably something you're going to enjoy. So try and check those ones out as well. Like, subscribe, share, follow us on all the socials. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on Buy Me A Copy. And if we don't see you before... We'll see you after. Bye. Take care, guys.